Hi friends, this is Chris with Josephine's Designs. I'm here today to share with you some goodies that I picked up at Hobby Lobby, um, oh gosh, I don't know, in the last month. And I've saved, and I'm going to take those on our trip, and I've got some goodies for my daughters as well. Um, we're all going to end up doing some of the similar things, just to have fun on our trip. And um, because we have, my youngest is going to go out with us, and then our oldest is going to fly out and meet us after the conference that we're going to, my husband, my youngest daughter, and I, and um, and then she's going to meet us, and then we're going to we're going to do Florida. So <laughs> I don't know what we're going to do, but I think Epcot is in the mix, and um, I really wanted to go where the Dolphin Tales um, uh, headquarters, you know, the movie Dolphin Tales, that headquarters in Clearwater, but um, I may be getting outvoted because. It's the opposite way of what we're going to be doing. So, um, and then of course we'll do some things in um, Alabama, um, Mississippi, and Louisiana on the way home. And I'm hoping that includes some mansions. But we love to go through the um, the beautiful mansions of the South, and that's a real favorite and for my husband and I at least. So, I don't know. The girls may outvote us. We'll see. But anyways, um, I have had this book for. I think at least a year or more. I got it at Hobby Lobby. It was on sale. It was regularly $5.99, $3.59 is what I bought it for. I am sure it's by Creative Haven. I am probably uh, almost 100% sure you're going to be able to find this. Um, if not at Hobby Lobby, if not on the Hobby Lobby website, you should be able to, you know, look for it on Amazon. And this one is titled Seascapes. I have tons of these. I mean, you know, whenever they're on sale or they're in the dollar bin or wherever I find them, then this is what I get. So I pick up a few of these. Um, anything to do with the ocean, anything to do with the sea. I grew up by the ocean, or it was, it's by a bay, officially. I, I need to clarify this, because I said something about it in a previous um, video. We grew up on a bay that is a part of the Gulf of Mexico. So, to me as a child, I always called it the ocean. I have been corrected, even though, I mean, I was a geography specialization in school. I should know better. But to me, the idea was I could get in a boat and sail anywhere in the world, going out that going out of that um, port and that was very I don't know it's just kind of almost brings me to tears right now it was such a special thought when I was a kid if there was a world out there and I literally wasn't inland I could get on a boat and go there you know so um, so that's why I call it the ocean so from here on out I'm gonna to refer to it as the ocean and you guys can let me know when I'm wrong, but um, that's why I call it that. And so this one, this book is all about seascapes, and um, I've tagged that the first one I'll be coloring is the one about dolphins. And these are great. These are perforated. You can take them out. You don't have to color them in the book. You can color them in the book. And um, the reason why I love dolphins, I grew up in the era of Flipper. We watch it every day um, after school, and we bought those videos for our kids when we went camping in Florida. And... Um, the first place I ever pet, I ever was able to pet a dolphin was in the ocean in Panama City, um, off a um, pontoon boat, and we rented a pontoon boat with another family that we met while we were camping, and we just had the best time. And the dolphins would come up to the back of our boats, and they were looking for food, which, because of the Great Mammal Act, you're not supposed to feed the dolphins. So. But I was able to immediately bend down, you know, and just start petting the dolphins, and. Honestly, I regret I didn't jump in the water because they were so, so friendly and tame. I'm sure everybody's going to tell me how dangerous that would have been. And it was. It would have been a dangerous thing. I would never let my children do it. But um, my goal one day in life is to swim with the dolphins. One day. One day. So this will be my first page. But these are just gorgeous pictures of sea life. And, you know, this is Arctic. But that's okay. Arctic polar bears. But the rest is just gorgeous fish and beluga whales, seagulls, um, you know, uh, stingrays, um, we've all petted stingrays, more likely whales, um, so it, it's not seahorses, there's nothing in here that is, um, um, sea turtles, which a friend of mine just sent me a message, they're getting ready to release baby sea turtles down in, uh, Corpus Christi, so I'm really wanting to get there for a release. Um, matter of fact, I've got to call and see if we can't go do that. Um, that has always been, that's on my bucket list. So I'm just praying this summer I can go see that one weekend. But anyways, long story short, and, and a good reason to go see my friend. Um, these are, and of course we don't have pink ones in Texas, but <laughs> anyways, long story short, um, I think this would be a fun thing to take on the trip. So I pulled that from my stack. That's going to go. 
Um, and people ask me, I've done a video, recently did a video on uh, the different types of pens and pencils and some of the things in my stash. I didn't um, pull everything in my stash because I've got Spectre Noir, um, Copic, um, Prima, Alcalines. So I've got all those different kinds of things. I've got other, you know, uh, Stampin' Up! inks or, or markers. I've got all kinds of stuff. And I even have stuff back when I was a consultant for Creative Memories. So, I mean, I have lots and lots of ink. Um, but anyway, so, um, and I've been recently regifting some of this. So um, I got this one. This one was on clearance. It was six ninety nine, um, or they were on sale, I should say. And it's four nineteen. and it's just lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of little birds. And if you um, listen to some of my videos, you can hear my birds talk. Oh, they just went off because I said birds. But um, lately, they were going crazy yesterday because they could hear me in here at the dining room, and they were just going absolutely berserk because they're right outside my dining room. All right, so these are the ones that I bought for my daughters and I, and these are not on a frame. They're just flat canvases, and um, I really like these for the car because you won't, you know, mess up the canvas, hopefully, because they're cardboard, or the cardboard bag. And this one is butterflies and pretty flowers and, you know, all kinds of goodies. And then on the other side, it's dragonflies with roses. And anyways, I just thought these were really pretty. They were um, regularly $6.99 on sale for $14.99 or $4.99. So I bought a set of three, one for each one of us, um, for my girls and I. And then my last adult coloring is a beautiful peacock. And my youngest found it, and I love this. It was regularly... Uh, $5.99 for $3.59, blah, blah, if I can speak. It's 8 by 8 it's on a canvas uh, frame, and I just really, really love that. Um, I love birds. I definitely love peacocks. They're gorgeous. My aunt and uncle had one on their ranch when I was a kid, and, and they had beautiful feathers that they had collected, and it was just beautiful. Okay, lastly, I've tried not to make too much noise, but I'm going to make a little bit of noise. Um, I love a, a sale, as everybody does, and so I found these Darling Wood Stamps. Again, don't like wood stamps, but I love these. Um, this is a Penny Black, and it's a cupcake, a little girl with her cupcake, and so I thought that was really cute. Really $8.99 for $5.39. She's just too cute, and she can decorate. She can stand up like that. So I have several of these that I'll be, um just for fun, you know, putting around my office. I'll be getting rid of a lot of stamps. And these I may take off and make them um, more of a, um, you know, just a rubber stamp and not, not have the wood block. But I love this. I'll probably keep this because I love the block. It is a woman, vintage woman silhouette in that gorgeous dress. It's normally $9.99. Got it for $5.99. Absolutely love it. My, um, It's a solid so it's exactly like the image on the back of the stamp. My youngest found it, and I had seen it in the clearance bin, but when she picked it up, because I, I was sitting there thinking, don't pick it up, don't pick it up, it's a wood it's a wood stamp, so I did. And these two were clearanced and, um, as well, and this one is some, and it was for $2, regularly $3.99, so it was half price. Hold on, I'm just trying to get this off so we can read a little bit better. Um, some people grin and bear it. Others, other people, others, pardon me. Let me start over. And this is called Some People Grin, and it's by Stamp Abilities. Uh, the last one, I think it's by, let me see, it doesn't say, Susan Carrillo. So, and that phone number for this vintage stamp is 1-800-945-3980. And there isn't a name with it. I'm sorry. So unless Su Suzanne Carrillo, Carrillo, oh, Silhouette Woman with Gloves. Silhouette Woman with Gloves. So I guess, yeah, you can see she has gloves on. So neat. I like that. All right. So if you want to order that, if you can't find it at your um, Hobby Lobby. This is a Stampability stamp, and it is Some People Grin. And it says, Some People Grin and Bear It, Others Smile and Change It. So, again, half price. I like the sentiment a lot. Be, or have courage and be kind. I love that sentiment. Again, it was $3.99, and I got it for $2 out of the storage, uh, out of the, the sale bin at Hobby Lobby, and it is titled Have Courage. So, I would imagine that these are on sale on the website. Um, this is the Hobby Lobby brand of stamps, but I absolutely love Have Courage and Be Kind. 
Um, it was the one thing I walked away with. The Cinderella mu movie, when they did the remake a few years back, was gorgeous. It was just beautiful, and my girls loved it. I loved it. Matter of fact, we haven't watched it for a while. Maybe we should pull that one out. But I absolutely loved that sentiment. It was 100% right. And, I mean, we can have courage and be harsh, or we can have courage and be kind. And that's that's where I believe we're at. And so, anyways, I love that. Okay, um... Oh, no, that's it. That's it for this video. I wanted to share this with you, and I hope that you have a great day. I hope that you are blessed and creative, and it is a lovely day for you, and I want to thank you guys for stopping by. I so appreciate your encouragements and your kindness, and please feel free to subscribe. I would love to have you um, join, and we're developing some lovely, lovely, um, sweet people and, and relationships. And, um, one of the other YouTubers calls it a community and I hadn't thought of it like that. And, and I think that's really great. So, um, anyways, and I do have a lot of friends from YouTube, so I, I guess I do need to think about it that way. But again, you know, I'd love to have you subscribe and be a subscriber. Um, if you feel so led, have a great day again, and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.